everyone, I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. So my name is Holy Mike, and uh, I have a really nice video planned for you guys today. I'm excited to get you guys on it. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe. Also, I, my name is Holy Mike. I stream on Twitch as Holy Mike Gaming as well. But if you like the content, leave a comment what, uh, what you'd like us to do next. A lot of fun. I was doing it with my friend Gavin. A lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy this video. It's going to be a lot of fun things in it, guys. Make sure you watch to the end. Hey guys, so Papa Gut here, and I have some things against Papa Gut. All right, I even I sent him an Instagram DM to probably just see if I can debate him. That would be fun. But here's the thing, okay? Papa Gut, man, I'm only talking professionally. I'm not talking about you as a person. I'm just saying the persona you put online, okay? Um, here's the issue, all right? So you talking about Candace Owens and the whole Andrew Tate thing? You're very biased, and, and you're not select. You there's a lot of information you're not selecting, you know, right? So this video came out the same day Andrew Tate was released off of house arrest. Now, what Papa Gut is not understanding, he's pushing there. Oh, they're going to prison. No, they're, they're for sure going to get it. You don't send. You don't let somebody that's for sure going to get son out of house arrest because that means they can leave that means they can leave the country they can fly to another country i mean you don't if you have smoking gun evidence it's a point of house arrest and a flight risk you can't let people leave the fact that they're letting him leave says something about it all right but anyway let's um let's dive in and see what what happens here okay because I'm, I'm curious Person for doing, but not agitate for facilitating. It. My my MO was fine girls, make them love me and make them work. Those old clips, my webcam company, things that happened ten years ago, I have absolutely nothing to do with the crap. Absolutely zero. Anything you see from before twenty fifteen. It's literally all in the court case. Oh, you're telling men they can be men. It's anti woke, and it's just so much so that you will support somebody who's like a horrible human being. And so we have a pretty spicy divorce date, which wasn't really that bad. You know, it, it's like a little weird coming from uh, see, someone like her, and she does speak about marriage guys. in like very loose way, where she it doesn't does necessarily like <laughs> respect what marriage should Thank be, you. which is you're not really, you know, that's how it comes off. But overall, her, her point was like, hey, don't stay in a miserable marriage, and I agree with that. You know, I just I think that the the, the messenger could have been better, but the message was, was fun. Anyway, anyway then uh, my understanding is when Candace went talked to Andrew Tate, it was a complete defense run. So let's see what we got. Candace Thank you. Those people who have recently jumped to the those people. Oh Jesus. The defense of Andrew Tate. Nice. Who is charged with human trafficking, rape, and organized crime? Jesus. Although so True. many people on the right, among conservatives, woke up and saw that Andrew Tate is not the good guy, Candace Owens is still very supportive of him. And I'm not surprised. I mean, so is Tucker Carlson. Tucker. Oh my God. I mean, she, she just like honestly, if you look at the facts of everything, they're just it's so biased. Okay. That's or allowed him to completely lie. Oh. Uh, you know, the only thing is, the only time people have an issue with Andrew Tate is because of what he said about how men should act, now women should act. Okay, if he's never said, if he's never said that, these people wouldn't be all over here get, getting all mad and stuff. That's just that just would not happen. And I'm just being honest with you guys, that that just would not happen. Uh, they're getting, getting me because I did. I made girls do a TikTok. <laughs> Like that like was that one very small facet of it. Facet he would have girls do TikTok lives to signal, signal boost, boost like OnlyFans only that he had control of. And we all know the rest. I mean, we're at a point now is if you don't if you don't understand the story of Andrew Tate and how he is a bad, you just listen to the words he says. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Uh, you're just living in, in, in ignorance. Okay, but those clips were for like five to ten years ago. Um, so Papa Gut, let me ask you this: If you were to um, pull out videos of you from five ten years ago. You tell me that they will be a hundred percent like you, like you, like you used to admit how now you don't do it anymore, but you used to admit all the time you would say, Oh, yeah, the old version of me on social media I don't like because I didn't understand things the way I should have now. So, things for him issues that long ago, you're gonna tell me that you the same person at this point but the but charges, charges are very are serious. serious pays effectively a lot of the evidence is what is coming from Andrew Tate's mouth when it comes to it and so like, 10 years ago but it is what it is but you know the, the, the I guess uh you know this is one of those things I guess conservatives are feeling so isolated that they will now um defend a sex trafficker because they need support I guess some conservatives of course like Tucker that's crazy guys but when the fact that you're talking about conservatives but then when Democrats on the other hand are defending people like James Charles that will actually have photo screenshot evidence of him sending pictures to minors even look at the lopez brothers right i if you match I me mean, yeah if you match the stereotype of a lip person that you on the social media you're not going to get canceled 
James Charles, okay, he, but now he's on YouTube making videos, making millions of dollars, still having brand deals, living better than most of us, and he was hitting up kids, asking them to be like, to be their sugar daddy, so I, I just don't understand of how you're going to say conservatives are the one, that's what I, I just, Carl's on, can't stand the phone, so. And defense and thinks he's an inspiration for young men. You're speaking to young men about why it is okay to be a man, giving them permission to be a man in a capacity that I can't give them that permission. I use sex as a tool to make women love me so they'd obey me and live in my house and make me money. Part of me when I was when they were regurgitating I was like, this is so annoying. So, isn't it so weird how like anti it's like it's so anti trans that it's pro rape. What? Because that's what it is. Oh, you're telling men they can be men. It's anti feminism, it's anti trans, it's anti like woke. It's, it's, and it's just it's so, so much, much so, so that you will support somebody who's like a horrible human being. Fair. It's so unfair. And me and my brother, eventually some staff I trained, we do all the talking. The girls were just pure, just promoosers, just laughing and doing this, their titties out. And they were talking to fucking ice cold hustlers. We were taking their money, all of it. By and large, it's not that you're- But explain to me how that is illegal though. He, all he is, is he just have it. I'm not saying I would have a webcam business. No, I'm saying you should, because that's not something you should be doing. But how is that illegal? I, I just don't understand. You're not holding anybody against you. His, all he is is just being a webcam company. Just how like Channel Bay does, like Bing, but all these big porn companies have their own webcam businesses, right? And they monitor the women. They have like they pick out the women. They pay them money. They keep an eye on them. They you know they promote them. Whatever. That's all he did. All he did. He, he just did it versus have being a big major company. But then how are you gonna say that he's illegal, but then everybody else is not? I, I, that just doesn't make any sense. You're saying to young men, even if there are certain things you don't agree with. Are you banging the chicks too, or just all 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 <laughs> I think you're right. Now that and still, how is that illegal? Okay, he's sleeping around. He's messing with multiple women. Not my lifestyle, but it's not illegal stuff though. That's I'm, I'm that's what I'm confused about on how they're stating that that's illegal because it's not. It's immoral, yes, but all they're doing is pulling up clips that are not illegal. He has to. That's what he said. You say it. I'm just a woman. I don't understand it. Yeah. Women are only loyal to one thing, and that's to do something. But I will not apologize for trying to do the best. Still nothing illegal, just stuff I would not be saying, but still nothing illegal. As I could at the time in the scenario I was in. Growing up. I feel bad at Fuck no. I give a solitary fuck. I am just not so quick to judge people. I think one of the not so quick. best jobs a woman can have is be a camera. I have 19 year old girls who are sitting there with their out on a computer. You've capped. And I, and I, I, I grew with them with a, a girl that I started seeing with at 15. I used her. Okay. See, now he's pulling up most so that's not in the thing here. Okay. Uh, all I'm just saying is that nothing he said has been illegal, okay? To, That's to be the bottom bitch, to sell uh, you know, my, this. Yes. Incredible. Debated young men, and that is a very important demographic. If he were to start lying and saying, I'm fucking all these 15 year old, not 15, sorry, 16 year old women. Or well, look at that. Right on cue. 18 year old women, whatever. The problem is that Ken. Right on cue. Right on cue, guys. Guys. That is a very right important cue. demographic. Right on cue. If he were to start lying and saying, I'm fucking all these. 15 year old, not 15, sorry, 16 year old women or 18 year old, I, I, old women, whatever. The problem. Beautiful stuff. You know, I wouldn't doubt though that like Candace Owens is for like 35 year old men sleeping with 13, 14, 15 year old girls as long as it was a legal religious marriage, of course. Because, you know, we are complaining about trans, oh, trans and feminism is so bad, but like it's still legal to, for, to get to child marry. I feel like that's probably more important to deal with. Problem is that I, a lot of no, I mean a lot of liberals are the ones that are pushing that because they're trying to say love is like pushing maps and all that. Can you explain to me that? Like, why is that on a liberal side of things if it's the if it's uh, Republicans are the ones pushing on this? Can you just explain that? I, I'm just highly curious about that. Okay, if you can explain that to me. This Owens recent child marriage is legal in most of the United States. I feel like that's a bigger issue in general. Two states have a minimum age of 15. Five states don't have a minimum age at all. Wow, that's fucking wild. And most of those states are democratic states. So that's I'm not. He's not making any sense. And that's that's what I'm saying. I'm just I'm not speaking like I said on feelings. I am speaking with facts. Why is the fact? Is he saying to conserve? It's a movement that's here to stay. The Happy Earth Movement, dedicated to spreading love and care for our planet. And we're proud to have a partner that shares our passion, Happy Earth. They're not just a brand. They're a force for positive change. Happy Earth brings you a collection that's more than just clothing and accessories. It's a statement, a commitment to protecting our planet's most precious inhabitants. With their stunning Vulnerable Species stickers, you can proudly showcase your support for wildlife conservation. Each sticker tells a story, each one helping raise awareness. And speaking of stories, the Fading Forest hoodie is more than just a hoodie. 
It's a wearable piece of art.